Yeah, I, I kind of modified what I was going to say today. Most of what I originally wanted to say has been said by other people. But I do wanted to get a few points across. The first particular point is that there's been a lot of talk by industry representatives and pro-mining people about uh, doing something about the sulf sulfide problem. You know, well, it's soluble, we can engineer our way out of it. And what I want to point out is that the chemistry of iron, the ferrous sulfide, the chemistry of pyrite, the chemistry of iron oxidation and iron reduction is outrageously complicated. It's the kind of thing that, in fact, the, the Navy spends millions of dollars a year trying to figure out how iron rusts. It's things as simple as how rust forms is the area of active research. People really don't understand this very well. If you take the Tyler Formation with its pyrite, grind it up, and expose it to oxygen and water, and then bury it again, the fact that it's no longer exposed to oxygen does not mean that you've stopped the oxidation, that you've stopped the, the uh, sulfuric acid production. That can continue even in the absence of oxygen under certain conditions. So what you what you have is the equivalent or the, the kind of a, a good analogy for this would be a coal mine fire, where you get a seam of coal that starts burning on the surface, and then even if it's completely covered, you can cut off all access, access to oxygen and continue to burn underground. You can have the same thing happening with acid mine. So you have buried tailings that will just continue to produce iron or to continue to produce sulfuric acid decades, hundreds, centuries after, after the period. Uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about, mention though, is there's a lot of talk about, I don't know, I, I get the sense from these, from you all that you don't really understand the difference between politics and physical reality. And an example of this is a section in the mining bill that defines a sulfide ore body as an ore body in which sulfide minerals occur mixed with non-ferrous minerals. By which you mean things other than iron. This actually is an attempt to legislate physical reality because if you, by strict reading of the law, the primary sulfide mineral we're worried about, which is ferrous sulfide, is not a sulfide. A layer of pure pyrite would not be under this definition, or the definition of, of sulfide ore body in this bill, would not be a sulfide ore body, which is a simple absurdity. Um, and I don't, I don't know where this comes from. I don't know if it's the, it's a contempt for science or, or what it is, but you really seem to think you have more power than you do. You have the power to pass any bill. You, you have the power to have a corrupt Supreme Court rubber stamp any bill. You. You have the power to gerrymander yourself into a majority based on a minority of the popular vote. Uh, you have the power to cow uh, an curious and lazy press. But you don't have the power to legislate the behavior of the valence electrons in a sulfur. You can even send Chief Irwin up and have him order the sulfur atom not to oxidize, and it won't listen to you. A sulfide mineral is a sulfide mineral that will do what it does regardless of what you say it should do or what you think it should do. And I, I really think that you, you know, completely lost touch with physical reality. That was what I was going to say. It's way longer two minutes. Let's go back and go. I'm not. I'm not asking you to do anything on camera. Um, I was wondering if you, at any point, would be willing to meet with people and kind of talk about these issues with the sing along and people getting arrested and people having their signs taken away. As long as it's actually going to talk about it. I mean, like I'm. I know Charles. I know Chief Thompson's been a long time. And I have a very good relationship with him still to this day. Um, and I think that you know we could all benefit a lot from talking to each other and having open conversations. And as someone who's at the Capitol all the time, I find it weird that this is the first time I've ever seen you. And I know lots of people who have tried to talk to you who haven't been able to talk to you. Well, I told you the cameras. It, to me, it's not a show. To me, it's about getting compliance, getting people. But it's an issue of public interest. Yeah, and it may be so. Right? 
but I'm not going to talk about it. So, so, but if you want to at some point, you know, I'll be willing to, to, to sit up and we'll see. I guess you guys are going to have a meeting tomorrow. Well, certain people are having a meeting, but so, I, I don't know. So we'll I don't happens. identify with any city. Oh, okay. Just, uh, All right. Okay. All right. Nice meeting. Bye. Bye.